So the story begins with showing Dr. Andrew, who is an American and at this time he was looking very sad, because one of his patients died due to heart failure. Then a colleague of Dr. Andrew comes to him and tells him that, there is a terrorist group who wants to catch the Americans. They have also entered this area and have found out that you are here. Hearing this, Dr. Andrew goes straight to his wife, who is a teacher and a very kind-hearted person. She teaches African children and wants to help humanity. Dr. Andrew tells him that we have to leave from here. We can't stay here anymore because the terrorist group will kill us. But his wife was still saying that can't we fix everything? Can't we talk to the terrorists? Can't we make them understand? Maybe the situation will get better. On this, Andrew says that my medical equipment has been stolen. One of my patients has died. So the situation in Africa can never get better. It would be better for us to leave from here. Then they leave from here and come to a small airport in this village, which was almost barren, because it was in the desert and there was only one plane here, in which they had to sit and go from here. The plane was not in a very good condition, so the pilot, who is very greedy, wants to take people and a lot of stuff. The second passenger, who was also an American, also wanted to leave from here. There were three people in them. One's name was Max and the rest were his friends. There was a black man who was a very kind-hearted person, and their head was short. He also goes with them. For the last time, Andrew's wife says goodbye to her African companion, to whom he says with grief that I am sorry that, because of the terrorists in our country you have to leave from here. Andrew went to the pilot whose name was Gran. Obviously he is a greedy person so he asks for a lot of money from him. Andrew recognizes Gran. He started saying that you are the same pilot who had to bring medical equipment. Do you know, because of not bringing that equipment, so many of my patients died. And the stuff that I had to send to America, it has also been stolen. Saying this, Andrew explains to him that, this should not be done with humanity. This is a very bad thing. That is, Andrew and his wife are both so good, that they always want humanity to be good because of us and they think that maybe our words will affect Gran, and she will be impressed and become a good person. The plane could not keep much stuff, so the greedy Gran says here again that, you people have given me money just to go, not for the stuff, so you can't take the stuff. But when the passenger said again and again, he agreed, and says, okay, okay, you can take the stuff, but you have to keep your stuff in your lap. After which they all come and sit in the plane. The situation inside the plane was also very bad, but somehow they had to go from here. Otherwise, they will get the next plane after a week. They don't want to stay here because, on the one hand, it is a terrorist group, and on the other hand, it is a dangerous animal of the jungle of Africa. So they had to travel in this plane. As soon as the plane flies, they breathe a sigh of relief. Seemed normal. Everything was going fine, but suddenly the plane starts to shake. Everyone asks Gran about this, to which she says that there is no such thing in the plane. I have flown many planes before, which is a journey of many hours, so I know there is no problem in the plane. You all stay calm. But in anger, Dr. Andrew came in front, says that I know so much that you are greedy, and you have kept a lot of stuff in the plane, because of which the plane is vibrating. If this continues, the plane will soon be destroyed. Gran says that there is no such thing. You just sit quietly on your seatbelt. I don't know about these things. Let me do my work. But then in a while, the plane starts shaking very hard. And there is a fire in it. And it starts moving fast towards the ground. In the next few seconds, the plane falls on the ground. Some passengers are killed by the destruction of the plane, while the survivors were also injured. Andrew gets up and starts looking at the burning things around. Max also survives and another boy too, but Max's friend could not survive in this crash. She dies while Andrew, Gran and Head also survive. Andrew came to his wife, whose condition is very bad because she is badly stuck under the luggage. She is also very injured because her leg is broken. Andrew tries to get his wife out of there, but she was so badly stuck that she could not get out even after a lot of effort. Looking at this, Gran says, she will not be able to get out, don't force it, but remove the luggage. And yes, if your wife is in pain, do this, give her some alcohol. 
Andrew got angry, he says, I don't like these things, you shut up and go from here. I know what I have to do. And this plane is also a secret issue because of you. Next, they bury their friend's body near the plane so that the wild animals do not eat his body. And these people start seeing where our plane has been destroyed. Then they found out that they are stuck in a very dangerous area where wild animals live. These people think that we are safe in the day because this jungle was like a desert. Because of the heat in the day, animals cannot hunt. But as soon as it gets dark, it will be difficult for them to escape so they will have to do something soon. Now, leaving Dr. Andrew, the three people make a plan that we will go to a nearby village, which is about 20 to 30 kilometers from here. Gran says that we will have to go southeast because the village will be there. On this, Max says that no, that way is wrong. We should go southwest because I believe that the village will be that way. But Gran doesn't listen to him. And because he has a gun at this time, he was everyone's boss and says that if you love your life, then come with me. He also tells Andrew to come with him, but he refused because he wanted to stay with his injured wife. Everyone tells Andrew a lot to come. On this, his wife says that we believe in our fate, we believe in God, that he will definitely save us. Andrew also loves his wife very much, so he can't leave her alone at any cost. He tells his companions that if the village is far away, then you bring help from there. Till then I will stay here and take care of my wife. After that, they start their journey towards the village. While Andrew and his wife are waiting for help in a broken plane, his wife was completely discouraged. Felt like she was waiting for help or for death. Along with that, wild animals start coming close to him, but they couldn't see it either. Their Grant and the rest get lost in this desert area. It's been half a day since they left, but they haven't reached the village yet. They are also very tired. They fall to the ground due to the heat of the onions. They can't take a step forward. Then Grant gives them water, and these people start moving towards their last mountain. But what is this? We have come here after a long journey, but there is only desert ahead. They don't even know the way back. That is, they were badly stuck here. Seeing this, Max snatches Grant's gun, and he says, Look, we are stuck here because of you. We will die soon. He shows everyone a gun and says that now everyone will have to walk on the same path on which I will go. But the rest wanted to stay with Grant. They think that if we walk on the path we have come from, we can reach our plane. And then going in the other direction, we will also reach the village, so they start going back. While Max walks alone on his way, they reach the plane with great difficulty with heavy steps and the heat of the onions. They saw that there is blood everywhere. Andrew and his wife are also missing. There are signs of lion's claws on the plane, so they understand that this means that the lion has hunted both of them and eaten them. They were sorry for both of them, but they were very scared thinking that this means that the lion is also active during the day and can hunt. So they start looking for a way to escape. Then suddenly Andrew, who was scared, comes here. He catches Grant with a gun because everyone thought that the reason for all this was Grant. Andrew believed that if he did not load too much, then the plane would not have been destroyed. Andrew kills Grant that a boy shoots a gun, which Andrew falls far and Grant is saved. While Andrew was taking his stuff, he was a lion of an animal, which are very expensive and Grant smuggles them. Then Dr. Andrew makes a grave of his wife's dead body and sits next to him and starts crying. Andrew has his head, to which Andrew cries and says that I am sorry that I could not save my wife. I should have tried more, maybe she would have survived. On this, the head says, against the lion, don't be sorry, don't blame yourself, because it was not possible, and your wife's fate showed what she believed in. Gradually the night began. Now they had to spend the night somehow, or do something because, at night they will definitely be hunted by an animal, and now they don't even hear the roar of the lion. Now Grant tells them, that we have only one way to spend the night, and that is the pilot cabin, where three people can hide, and save their lives. So now they start tossing that. They will sit in the pilot cabin. Max's friend lost in the toss, that is, he will sit outside the plane at night. As soon as night fell, the boy set fire to the plane and sat outside. While the three people were in the pilot cabin, he was told that you don't have to sleep and let the fire burn. Because as long as you stay awake, the fire will burn, you will be safe. And as soon as your eyes are lit, you can die. Now they were just waiting for the night to pass because in the morning they would go to the village, now they know it's gone. At night, Grant comes out of some work. He sees that the boy is sleeping and the fire is also extinguished. Grant wakes him up and says, Girl, 
wake up and keep the fire away, if you want to stay alive, after which Grant comes back to the cabin and sits. But Max's friend, the boy who was very sleepy, he goes to sleep and the fire is also extinguished. Yes, now in the dark, we see someone's eyes shining who was no one else but a lion, who had now come out of the plane and sitting inside, all three were listening. Now Andrew, who is merciful, was feeling bad for the girl. He wants them to go out and save her life. But there were a lot of lions outside so they couldn't do anything. But then Andrew opens the door of the cabin through which a lion tries to enter. Although they together try to stop him. But the lion was so strong that he starts breaking the cabin. Now a snake, who had long been sitting inside, bites the head of the lion. But as soon as the door of the cabin is closed, Andrew ties a rope to the leg of the head and takes out a lot of blood. So the snake's venom also came out, and his life was saved. But his condition was very bad. When he came out of the cabin in the morning, he saw that his companion was not outside. That is, he was also hunted by lions. They then decide to go to that village, because it is daytime, so they will not be in danger now. But Andrew, who has seen so much, loses his courage, and breaks down and sits with the tree. He tells them that I will not go with you, I have lost my courage. This is my fate. I want to go to my wife, so I will stop here and wait for my death. I have seen people being eaten by lions today, and I will not be able to tolerate this anymore. While the rest of the people leave for the village, they had gone a little far and saw a car coming from the front. They were very happy to see him. They think that now we and Andrew will also be saved. So they start shouting to call the car to their side. But what is this? We see that the car came straight and stopped near Andrew. There was no one else in it, but it was a terrorist group that was looking for Americans. And now they start killing Andrew. And they ask Andrew, what are you doing here on our land? You have come to steal us. You steal our stuff and take it to your country. He is a doctor. He did nothing. He comes here to help you and was just going back. You don't want to kill him. But then those terrorists get the horns of that animal from the plane which makes them even more angry. They tell Andrew that you are a smuggler, and you steal stuff from our land. You smuggle America. So they started killing Andrew again. Then Grant says that this is my plane. All this stuff is mine and I do smuggling. Andrew did nothing. Hearing this, he says, it means Grant, we should kill you. The head says, why? Why should we kill you? Are you a terrorist? You are a human being living on this land. And we respect you. The head felt that he would change the terrorist's mind, and he shoots at his face, and proves that yes, we are really terrorists, we have no mercy on humans, and nothing can happen to us. After that, they treat them very badly. One of the terrorists goes to get a truck, so that he can take them with him, and treat them badly. Now two terrorists stayed here. One of them says to Andrew, let's make a deal with you. I will count to ten and you have to run. After ten, I will shoot. Okay, now you run. Get up, stand up and run. But Andrew doesn't run, because he has already lost his courage. What is the need for him to run? The terrorist got so angry, that he started laughing at them. When the terrorist realized that, they had completely lost their courage. He sat far away from them, and stared at them for a while. The gun says to Andrew that, I am a fighter, I can't die so easily. Saying this, he slowly, started going to the terrorist. He started snatching the gun. But the terrorist came to his senses. As soon as he shoots at the gun, he finds out that there is no bullet in the gun. The second terrorist also woke up. Andrew tries to control him and snatch the gun. Because of this, bullets started firing. And both terrorists died. Then the gun says to Andrew that, We killed both of them, so now you have to come with me. You have to fulfill your wife's dream. And I have to improve. Give me a chance so that I can. Apologize for all my sins. So now come with me, I will help you and take you to the city, where you can help thousands of patients. So Andrew goes with him, but the situation was very bad. As soon as they moved forward, they were close to the village, and there was a small mountain of stones in front of them. They had to cross it and go to the other side. Now the gun with great difficulty lifts Andrew up, but what did he see? He saw bloody lions coming from the front. They were on the mountain, so the lions smell their blood and start coming towards the mountain. But because they were on top of the mountain, and were also hidden, sometimes birds start flying over them, the direction of the wind changed, and the lions started smelling them, and they started coming this way again. 
A scorpion climbed on Andrew, which comes on his face, and Andrew remained completely silent. As soon as the scorpion started moving back, a stone fell down, which confirmed to the lion that there is definitely something up there for me to eat, and he starts climbing up hard. Seeing this, the scorpion puts Andrew's blood on his body and tells Andrew that, I have done a lot of bad things in my life, and today I want to wash away those sins. I will put my blood and go to the lions. I will give my sacrifice and save your life, so that the lion hunts me, and you get a chance to run. You promise that you will get up from here, and you will definitely go to the village. Saying this, he came up the mountain screaming, and then jumped down. The lion immediately comes to him, and hunts him. Then Andrew, who started moving towards the village, falls down after walking for a long time. He was thirsty. Then he sees two animals coming from the front, who were coming to eat him. Seeing this, Andrew looks up and says, Did I just write in my fate, to die in the hands of such a stupid dead animal? If I had to write my death, then at least it would have been in the hands of the lion. Saying this, Andrew stands up again, with full courage. Those animals started running towards Andrew, but suddenly with the sound of thunder, those animals run away from there. Then it started raining. Andrew lies down and starts drinking rainwater. He quenches his thirst for so long, after which he falls unconscious. Now when Andrew opened his eyes, he saw the same companion, who came to Andrew and told him about the terrorist. He gives support and picks up Andrew, and saves his life and takes him away from here. That is, Andrew was now safe, and it was written in his fate to live, because he worked with courage. At the last moment, 